Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very small Dollar Tree haul and I wanted to share it with you guys. So let's jump right in. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the food items. And Dollar Tree got in a bunch of seasonal treats from the fall time. And so they brought out these limited edition pumpkin spice, uh, what are they, cakes in a mug with cream cheese frosting. And I don't know how good these are gonna be. I really don't eat them. I thought my boys would like them. They said, no, they don't like pumpkin. So I'm gonna go ahead and give them a try. But you get four servings for $1 in here. And they do not expire until, let's see, where is the expiration date? August of 2021. So these will be gone by then. I will be eating these even though I shouldn't. The other seasonal items that they brought out were these salted caramel cookie mix and these are the Betty Crocker. I picked up two of them and the ounces are 17.5 uh, ounces. It's one pound and again this is a seasonal item from the fall and it does not expire until, let's see, oh goodness, uh, July 2021. These will definitely be gone by then. So I picked up two packs of the salted caramel. And I also picked up two packs of the apple brown sugar mix. And it's the same exact as this, the cookie mix. Um, it, this expires July as well. And I picked up two of these. Now these, I'm sure I'm, the boys are going to love because it's apple. So I picked up two of the apple brown sugar cookie mix. And again, they are one pound. So Dollar Tree brought out some of the Campbell's Kitchen Classic Soups. They had different flavors. Um, I had seen a clam chowder before and I didn't pick it up. And then this time around that I went, they didn't have it. So I ended up getting the loaded potato soup. Not sure how good they are, but for a dollar and they're, uh, let's see, they're 14.5 ounces. I figured I would pick it up and give it a try. So I picked up three of these cans. And I also picked up a jar of green olives, the stuff with pimentos. And this is a seven ounce jar. It's bigger than their normal jar. So I picked up one jar of the green olives. Then the last food item is a bag of coconut flakes. These are sweetened. It's a seven ounce bag. And I picked it up because especially around like spring, summer, I like to bake with coconut. So that was all the food items. Let me clear this up and I'll show you the rest of the stuff that I found. So now let's start with the beauty items. So I picked up these loofahs here and they had a different color as well. They had a blue, which I already gave to my son, but I like these loofahs. They come with a handle and these work really well. I really like them and actually I bought these because I wanna put them in a Mother's Day little basket. And so I thought these were so pretty. When you see them, pick them up because they do go pretty fast for a dollar. They're not bad and the colors are really pretty. Even the blue, it's a light blue and it looks really, really pretty. Um, I really like the way these work. Dollar Tree brought out some tweezers that I have never seen them carry before and they're called House of Steel. And these, these look really nice. I've never seen these before. They're obviously made out of steel and they only had two left there, so I picked up the two that they had. It's always good to have extras because eventually they do go dull. So I picked up the two that they had left and they also brought out these here. And I picked up two of these as well. And these are just the slanted tip and they come with a little brush and they also come with a little stencil inside there for your eyebrows. So yeah, I picked up two of these as well. They brought out some more of their eyebrow razors, so I picked up another pack. Usually my Dollar Tree sells out of them really quickly, so I figured I'd pick up a pack to have just in case I need them and they don't have any more, so just as backup. So I picked up one pack. I picked up this cuticle trimmer. I'm not exactly sure how well it works, but I really do need to start doing my nails, and so I figured I would pick up this cuticle trimmer Hopefully I don't cut my skin off because I'm a little bit clumsy, but I ended up picking up this cuticle trimmer. I found this makeup vanishing towel and 
I don't know how well it works, but I figured I would give it a try. It feels really soft, so it's not going to be too abrasive on your face. So I can't wait to try this on tonight to see how well it works. They had this Wet n Wild Lash Renegade Mascara in black. So I picked up a mascara. The thing that I don't like about the mascaras that they have there, even if they're known brand, they're never waterproof. But you know what? For a dollar, I'm not complaining. You know, I mean, la uh, mascara is very expensive. So if I can get it for a dollar, why not? The last three items, they uh, are new. I've never seen them before. And it is these bath salts. These bath salts are from Spa Naturals. This is a camel, chamomile. And it says, it says they're sulfate-free. Sulfate Can't talk. And this is in 17.5 ounces. Look at how pretty you could see right there. Like the chamomile right there. It looks so pretty. I only picked up one of the chamomile. I picked up one of the lavender. You can see the little lavender inside here. And then I picked up one in the rose petals. Look at how pretty these look. And these would be great as well for Mother's Day. And they also had some cute bath bombs that were shaped like hearts and they smell like roses. They had all kinds of things. I just had to restrain. I did not pick them up. There was a lot of things that I wanted to pick up. And unfortunately, I did not take pictures this time around. So let me clean this up and then we'll move on to the next stuff that I have. All right, so the other stuff that I have is just going to be random. So I've picked up these yarns. I picked it up in this nice little blush pink and this nice um, taupe color and this gray color. I had picked up a an off-white, a creamy color one before. So I'm thinking of maybe doing a wreath or something with this yarn. So we shall see. If I do, I will do a tutorial on that. And then finally, they brought these to my store, these little string lights that have the leaves on there. I picked up four of these packs. I've already have two that I'm using, but they finally brought them and I thought these are so, so pretty. So I wish I would have picked up more, but I didn't and they sold out. So I picked up four of these lights. The last item I found was for Priscilla. Uh, Dodger won't play with this, but I know Priscilla will. And they brought out this little toy here where you put snacks in here and it's a puzzle. They're supposed to get to the snacks. So I thought this was pretty cool. I know my daughter had bought Priscilla one a long time ago. Um, it wasn't plastic. It was actually a wooden one. And she got through it really quick. So I figured, you know what? I'm going to be puppy sitting. So I figured I would go ahead and buy this for her so she can entertain herself and let me rest just for a few seconds. Well, that was everything, you guys, that I found at Dollar Tree. I hope you guys go out there and find some really good stuff. They do have a lot of stuff out there. And um, I'm still in search for those Cricut tools, the knockoff tools. But no dice, not here in Nevada. So anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, friends.